y'all it's paula with hillbilly orchids welcome back to my channel i hope everybody's having a fantastic day um i'm trying to get motivated and get into getting this video done <laughs> um i really wanted to really wanted to get it done get it, get this little uh lalia lundia mounted uh catlia i guess now it's called uh but this pretty little girl Kim from Backyard Butterflies, Orchids, and more sent me this beautiful uh, couple little pieces of Lelia Lundia. So I'm going to mount it. Um, I talked to Michael McCarthy. I was like, hey, um, uh, should I pot this thing or should I mount it? And he's like, I would mount it because he said it kind of rambles like a... Um, Dyneema polybulbin and I was like ah okay yep then yeah I think mounting it would probably be my best bet so and hopefully this mount here should be pretty good it's really uh, naughty and dippy and <laughs> it's real dippy and, and just like me and um, yeah got lots of places for it to crawl run hide and we are going to of course use the coconut husk fiber to put on it so let's get this mount started now I promised Miss Betty Ward that I would not say I'm not no good at mounts I'm just mounting my way <laughs> uh, mounting them my way so let's pull these little guys up out of here I'm so tickled to have this one uh, I asked her um because Daryl uh, Adams asked me, he said, hey, uh, which type is that? And I said, you know, I don't know. I didn't even think to ask her because I really, I really, it didn't matter to me, honestly. I was really thrilled just to have this one in my collection, honestly. So, whether it's, uh, Cerulea, whether it's, you know, uh, whatever it could be, uh, I'll just be thrilled with it. So... Here goes nothing. <laughs> Get my, what do you think of my pretties? Uh, that, that one's so cute, which you've seen that one already. And then, of course, this one here, uh, Daryl Adams gifted me. The uh, Aloha Dream Dust. Pretty little girl, isn't she? Pretty, pretty. Two there and two there. Two, four blooms. She did quite well. Now, I'm wondering, just to start start out I mean this one this is a great little growth here she has uh, a new 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 start right there so that is really great I don't know I wonder if I should put just a teeny touch of actual and see this one this whole one here is really this is an all brand new, and I see something, I don't know if that's a sheath or what's going on down in there, but I kind of doubt it'll bloom or anything for me, uh, not now after being, you know, uh, uprooted and sent here, but I wonder if I shouldn't add just a tiny touch of moss, or if husk would be just fine, ah, uh, any meeny, miny, mo. Catch a tiger by the toe. If he hollers, let him go. Hang on, y'all. I'll be right back. Okay, I am back. I really wasn't thinking about using just a tiny touch of moss on it because, yeah, um, I don't like to really. Um, you know, I'm trying really to get away from the moss, of course. Uh, that's why I've switched a lot over to the husk fiber. But pull off our fishing line. I started to say string. Let's just say I'm telling you what, I'm getting better at mountain. How about that? I'm getting a lot better at mountain my way. <laughs> getting better at mountain my way. Do the loop. Reach through, grab the Nope, that didn't happen. <laughs> Did not happen. 
I hope everybody's having a really great day, really. Uh, the weather's starting to warm back up for us here a little bit, which is just fantastic. Uh, I told you about how crazy it has been. One minute snow and ice uh, doing all that crazy stuff. Then it's sun shining and <laughs> it's just been been really, really, really off the wall weather. Which hopefully this month should be the last month of the, the craziness. So I really look forward to a reprieve in that situation. So let's see. Turn this over. And I'll tie it off now. I was so tickled after I done the giveaway drawings and stuff. Oh, you guys, I had so much fun doing that. It was such a great time. I really wished everybody could have won, though. Uh, but Tony uh, from the Tiny Jungle, he's he's like, let's do it again. I was like, <laughs> okay, sounds awesome to me. So I think there will be some more stuff coming up, y'all. So, all right, we got that on there. Now, like I said, just going to use the tiniest touch. I was trying to find like the big, sometimes you got bigger chunks in a, in a ball of moss. And I didn't do so well with that. So, kind of got to use what we have here. Couldn't find too much and I didn't want to, didn't want to be looking too long for moss knowing, you know, trying to get this video together for y'all. And... Actually, I'm going to spray these roots a little bit. I want to check them, see what's really alive, and what might not be. They all, yeah, they all look really good. Okay, that's that's awesome. That is what I want to know, so I know where to place them and how to do them. I hope this thing just rambles all over this mount for me. That will just tickle me to death. Alright. Now, what I'm doing is I'm just putting that little bit of moss under the root part. Not under the actual bulb part. Oh, yes. Look at that. Kim, thank you. I can't thank you enough. It's just fantastic. So kind of you to send me this. for the roots and since that new growth on this side I'm trying to figure out which way be best way to set it I kind of want it to be where I can see it but I want it to be able to start growing onto the mount if that makes sense so kind of hold them there like so grab the longer string Paula <laughs> and just do a one wrap to get them snugged and secured into place so that works well I'm going to use my can here to which I don't think it's not too much in it. I was going to use my can to hold that down, but probably the spool of um, line would be better <laughs> so I could get my moss out. Or my moss, my moss, yeah. My, uh, what is this stuff? Husk moss. I think I need to go back to sleep, y'all. It's already been a day. I am happy though uh, that after this week here, uh, day shift's coming up for my husband real soon. He's going to be off for the next five days. Didn't mean to bump the thing. He should be off for the next five days and then day shift. So I should get some uh, a semblance of 
a normal life back. I'm hoping. So then I won't be telling y'all I'm tired all the time anymore. I better not anyways, huh? <laughs> better not be whining that I'm tired all the time if he goes to day shift. Only thing with that too is, is that uh, we only have one vehicle right now. And so I'll definitely have to plan things that I have to do and get done on his days off. So that always makes it kind of hard to do. But I'll manage. It'll be worth it. It'll be just so worth it. All right. Now let's get this coconut husk fiber tied down with the wire. Ah, it's stuck around the table now. I can't wait. I'm so excited to see this take off and uh, do well. Alright. That should prove to be good. And there's my other end. All fingers and thumbs, I'm telling you. Hey, I did that really good too. Uh, perfect on the <laughs> perfect wraps, perfect amount of wraps, perfect amount of line. I really did good. Alright. I will wait. Um, I, I did ask him, you know, if, what, what kind this was. Um, hopefully she gets back a hold of me soon and I will make a tag for it then. And I'll put the tag on it later on. Uh, like I said, if not, really, um, it's okay. It doesn't doesn't exactly matter to me. I just know it's a Lelia Lundia, and that makes me happy. That's all I need to know. So now, just have to watch not cut those pieces that I um, had back there. Now I'll just. You know, like I said before, I just hair cut the coconut husk fibers to make it look decently flat and whatnot. Kind of pretty it up without cutting the line. <laughs> don't do that. We don't be wrapping it all over again. And like these. You know, pull them away from the bulbs. And there's actually a couple that are just up there around it. They'll just go cut off. I think you do get better with mountain as the more that you do it. So <clears throat> and I have been getting my fair share of things in that I have been actually mountain. So which is pretty cool because I used to not have so many mounts, so now I do. So we think y'all I'll get her watered get her hung up and I've got Lelia Lundia I've got Lelia I can't lay Lundia <laughs> oh, it tickles me really tickles me thank you so much Kim I really appreciate it and with that said I hope y'all had fun hanging out with me and doing this mount and uh, bye for now y'all till we meet again